Three, two, one. So, here is my Virobot. What's it called? Virobot. Virobot. Okay, Virobot. And I'll give you a view of the front. And if you're wondering, these are the wires. I put my batteries here. And I have, I'll tell you more about this. So what it does is it'll actually move. And the way it's moving is this is moving and it's vibrating so these will go, well, these will go forward. How do you turn it on? I was about to, I was about to get to that right. Okay, now. you want to turn it around so they can see. Now right here, your circuit circuit isn't complete. Now, if I was able if I was to move here, it wouldn't turn on, but if I were to touch these two together, I'm going to touch these two together right now. There you go. That would happen. And it's using the batteries or powering it, right? The batteries, yep. I put a wire there and I put these little skis on there. It wouldn't work as good. And since I have a lot of weight on it, my batteries, it'll probably only work if I do if I use the skis. Can you see Pretty I'm going to turn cool. it off right now? And I also give, can give you a view of the back. Yep. Some copper wires. Yep, and then what's this? This? Top. What's up top? There is, the reason why this is moving is because there is a propeller, but I put this on top of this motor. You see, it'll move. And what I all I did is I just stuck the propeller on there. Nope. No, the battery the battery's dying. No, it's not. I just put it on wrong. There. Cool. And what class are you doing this in? Techno Tinkering. Cool. Well, kudos to you, Logie. Good job. It's a pretty cool robot.